years ago, I did a handgun recoil control video, and a year ago, a viewer left a question that I've heard a lot of people on and off the internet discussing and asking the same question, so I figured why not make a video response, and that question is this. Nice shooting. Can you please explain in detail what your eyes are focusing on while shooting so fast? I know in this video you mentioned twice that you don't use the sights while shooting fast. I'm trying to figure out what you mean. I've been having trouble with the gun not returning back to where it started before I fired the shot. Not quite sure what to do, or not quite sure what I'm doing wrong. Any suggestions? Thank you. So, uh, Justin V89 and anybody else out there with the same question, here's my answer. When you're talking about shooting fast, I did a video using handgun sights and how they're applicable and that sights inherently slow down the rate at which you're able to shoot because you're, you're taking time, effort, and energy to focus the sights and realign the sights and all of that stuff. So yes, when you're shooting extremely fast strings of fire, you're doing what we call kinesthetic shooting or non-sighted intuitive shooting and that's all accomplished not only by having a good firm high grip like we talked about in the handgun recoil control video but also by having appropriate body mechanics and fundamental positioning behind the gun to help control the gun. Now regardless of how good your fundamentals are and how good your grip is when you're shooting super fast and fast strings of fire you're not going to bring, be able to bring that firearm back to the same exact spot which is going to expand your cone of deviation downrange which all falls back to the context that you're trying to shoot for, that you're trying to train for, whether that's defensive context, competition, or marksmanship. So arguably, if you're shooting for the context of defensive firearms training, we're aiming for a high center chest area. We have a lot of real estate, relatively speaking, we have a lot of real estate in that center chest area to put bullets. Anywhere inside this roughly eight inch, nine inch circle on someone's chest, all bullets that impact this area are gonna be considered equal. It doesn't matter where they land inside that target. If you're talking about the A zone for IPSC or USPSA, that area is gonna be a little bit narrower, so you're gonna have to have a smaller cone of deviation, you might have to shoot slower. If you're talking about precision, you know, putting bullets on top of bullets, for precision marksmanship shooting, you're gonna have far less acceptable cones of deviation. So when you're talking about shooting fast and the gun not returning perfectly to where it was and you're putting shots in a wider pattern, that's because you're shooting at a faster pace, which is acceptable for the context of defensive shooting as long as you're still stacking those rounds inside what you determine that target to be. Again, coming back to that eight or nine inch high center chest circle. If you still find yourself putting rounds outside of your intended target, let's use that eight inch circle as an example, that high center chest for defensive context of training. If you're still putting rounds outside of that, it might mean that you're shooting a little bit too fast or it could be something fundamentally is loosening up. Whether you're letting your shoulders relax and you're standing yourself up or you're not letting the gun completely settle back down and you're actually pressing the trigger when the gun's still elevated. Now with a very aggressive grip and good aggressive body mechanics behind the gun, that elevation and that muzzle rise, that recoil that we're trying to control is gonna be very well mitigated. However, you still have the ability to let the gun stand you up if you get lazy, fatigued, or you stop paying attention to what you're doing during your strings of fire. So understand the context in which you're training for, understand that not using sights and shooting intuitively with good kinesthetic alignment behind the gun will inherently expand your shot group Make sure that it's acceptable for what you're training for, and if you find yourself going out of that, be very critical with the fundamentals of grip and body position, upper body position behind the gun, and if you need to, slow down just a little bit. But shooting to your failure points is exactly what we want to do, because doing the same thing over and over is never going to make us any better. So find your failure points, find that balance of speed and precision to be able to put rounds very rapidly into the target size that you determine. Train safe. We'll see you guys in the next video. We never quit. We can't be high. This is the heart.